The Ultimate Guide to Offshore Accidents When offshore accidents occur, injuries suffered by workers or seamen can be severe, life-changing, and even fatal. The chance of being killed while working in the oil and gas extraction industry is seven times higher than for all workers in the United States. Here's a quick guide. What is an offshore accident? The term offshore generally means the injured worker was working on navigable water. It is also a term generally used to refer to the extraction of oil and gas from reservoirs found beneath the seafloor by oil and gas companies. These operations require laborers to work offshore on various types of rigs, barges, and platforms. Common types of injuries involved in offshore accidents include burns, head trauma, severe back injuries, neck injuries, bruises, broken bones, fractured bones, drowning, and traumatic brain injuries. The most common situations for offshore accidents are offshore oil rigs, offshore helicopter accidents, and offshore supply vessel accidents. What should I do if I'm the victim of an offshore accident? If you're injured in an offshore accident, there are steps you can take to protect both your health and your ability to receive compensation for your injury. Step one, seek emergency medical treatment. Your health and safety are always the most important thing. Before you do anything else, you should get to a safe location. Immediately after the accident, check yourself for injuries. And if you're not too injured to do so, look for fellow coworkers who also may be injured. Seek emergency medical help immediately. Step two, contact the authorities. As soon as possible, you should either call the authorities yourself or ask someone else to contact them for you if you need medical treatment. The relevant authorities will be able to create official documentation of the scene, including accident reports and any witness statements. These documents can also serve as evidence if you need to file a lawsuit. Step three, document the scene. If possible, you should document the scene of the accident yourself. Take as many photos and videos of the scene that you can. Make sure to capture the scene from all the angles, close up and far away. You should also take down names, addresses, and any contact information from any witnesses to the accident. Step four, talk to a lawyer. It's essential that you speak to an experienced personal injury attorney regarding representation immediately after the accident. You should look for an attorney that has experience with offshore accidents. Many attorneys will offer you a free consultation to discuss your case. Additionally, you should not speak with any insurance adjusters, even your own. Do not give a recorded statement. It's an insurance adjuster's job to help the insurance company pay as little money as possible for each claim. Every time the insurance company contacts you, they're trying to collect information that they can use against you. Insurance companies are notorious for taking advantage of people who are unrepresented. It's crucial that you have an experienced offshore accident attorney on your side. Should I sue someone if I'm in an offshore accident? Workers who are involved in offshore accidents can be eligible to recover damages under general maritime law and the Federal Jones Act. The Jones Act allows workers to pursue personal injury lawsuits against their employers for injuries caused by either the unseaworthiness of a vessel or negligence by vessel owners, captains, or crew members. Although the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act can provide workers' compensation benefits to injured workers, available compensation is limited to medical expenses and disability benefits. In many cases, in order to receive additional compensation, you will need to file a lawsuit. Do I have to go to court? The vast majority of legal cases are settled way before they reach trial. Settlement agreements are negotiated by attorneys for both parties and allow the injured party to guarantee some level of compensation. However, some cases do go to trial, in which case you will likely need to appear in court. Do you have any questions? We protect victims like you every day and we genuinely want to hear about your case. Call or email anytime. Thank you for watching.